Hello, friends. It's still October, and so these are all still kind of scary. In a small town in the Czech Republic, there is a church that makes you realize that underneath all that skin and blood and muscle you've been carrying around, you're really just a chandelier. I'm a fan of bone buildings, also known as ossuaries. These are places where bones have been collected and built and arranged into fantastical displays. There is Egenberg, there is San Bernardino, there is the Kampuchen Crypt in Rome. In Hallstatt, Austria, there's an incredible example of a charnel house where the skulls have all been painted with beautiful, intricate designs. But among ossuaries, there is one that stands out. It is both the most popular ossuary and probably the most incredible example of bone art ever created. I'm talking about Sedlik Ossuary, also known as the Bone Church. Like most other ossuaries, Sedlik was born out of necessity. So in the 1200s, the abbot of the Sedlik Monastery was sent to the Holy Land, sent to Jerusalem by the King of Bohemia. And he brought something back with him, a little handful of holy soil. And he sprinkled this across the graveyard in the monastery. It basically meant that you could not be buried under a more divine soil anywhere except for the Holy Land itself. The problem, of course, is when you've got the hottest cemetery in Bohemia, you run out of space pretty quick. So they had a solution to this. They just dug everyone up, made an ossuary, and started moving the bones from the soil into the basement where you put all of the stuff that you kind of need but you know don't care that much about. There was a secondary element to this which is that by looking at the bones, by contemplating the bones, the monks of Sedlik were able to experience a kind of a memento mori, a sense of we too shall die. So well, half-blind monks were stacking bones in the basement for hundreds of years. Sedlik Ossuary didn't become the bone church until 1870, when a rich noble family bought the church and hired a local wood carver named Frantischek Rint to arrange the bones artfully. This was the ultimate home decorating challenge in which your only choice of decor is bone. He actually had to take all the bones and bleach them to get them into a kind of a uniform color. Sedlik Ossuary is not that big, but within that small space are the remains of somewhere between 40,000 and 70,000 people. Besides making four huge pyramids of just tightly stacked bones and skulls, in the center of the room is a huge bone chandelier, said to contain at least one of every bone in the human body, plus a bunch more. Stringing out from there are literal garlands of skulls. It is perhaps the most artistic use of skeletons that, that exists in the world. But there's a problem. The church is slowly collapsing in on itself. Unfortunately, to get at the structure and shore it up, the bones are going to need to be removed one at a time, and then put back together. And they haven't really been touched since the 1870s. In fact, no one's even sure how those bone pyramids are being held together. So well, this is an enormous and insane project, and I would really like to be there when they start doing this. The only other option is to let the bone church collapse in on itself, chandelier and all. And I would rather not be there when that happens. Yeah, bones! <laughs> I'm, I'm being buried in bones! Subscribe here and watch more videos here. And uh, as a challenge, the first person to guess what animal these bones are from and put it in the comments, you get to call a 100 Wonder episode. I will make it in November. I am, I am yours to command. What animal? If you find that Sedlik Ossuary is a little too touristy for your taste, you've got other choices. 20 miles away, there's an ossuary in Melnik that is basically totally unvisited. In Poland, there is an incredible small ossuary that may have been what inspired Frantischek Rint in his styling of Sedlik ossuary. And finally, in Czech Republic, there's Birno, which is the largest ossuary outside of the Parisian catacombs. 